as one of the best boxers to ever come out of Montana. And in a new book, one Helena author details his rise to becoming the world champion. MTN's Gordon Voigt tells us why you can't help but cheer for the writer and his subject. Well, with me, is, is, is boxing as a metaphor for life, you know, and our writers in general have always been attracted to the sweet science for its duality, its beautiful uh, beauty and its brutality. Helena author Brian D. Ambrosio has a burning passion for boxing that made his latest project more than just a job, but a true privilege, telling the story of the first ever Native American world champion boxer, Marvin Camel. Today, D'Ambrosio was at Butte's Books and Books, signing copies of the fruit of his many months of labor, Warrior in the Ring. He grew up in a very abusive home, he had an abusive father. Um, Henry, his father, he abandoned Marvin and his 13 siblings. So Marvin grew up um, in a very poor household in Ronan. Not only that, but he was teased by his flathead peers for being half native, half black. But none of that, not even a grueling 13-hour work schedule, kept him from pursuing his one true love, the ring. For Marvin, it was a supreme conditioning and an iron will and an iron determination. And it says, hey, I'm, I'm going to achieve greatness. I'm going to be the best. In fact, his first professional fight was in Butte in 1973. From that point on, he won two world titles and boldly showed his native pride, even though he was an outcast to many members of the reservation. I think Marvin's story retains and resembles a lot of that magic. So I think for all people in Montana, we can be proud of this story. Sports, we'll be right back.